we too often lay off the content creators. Um, you know, when we're cost cutting, you know, I, I, to me, that's always what you protect the most. And so I always start with content and the key, even when I'm trying to drive up my advertising, right? So um, you, you have the possibility in the e-reader, this, the whole value of that editor curated browsing package versus self-directed. I know, um, you know, how much of our traffic comes from people just punch into Google. We're, we're great at doing the SEO and then they come to our site, they stay a short while and leave, right? That's very different from a reader identifying a source, valuing that source, saying, I want to go there. And they go there because of, of what the editors brought them. The, this isn't what you don't already know, but I mean, I, I just think there's a value there. And now you have that in an electronic format, so very much different than online. And Roger talked earlier about, again, immersive reading versus snacking. You'll see a lot of theories in the e-reading world on curating your ads as content. So that's a long time topic too, right? Advertising as content. But as we dig into this, would this be the area to really look at uh, the control, the types of ads that go in there to give a better reader experience? Again, keep them on the page longer, uh, bring more value to them as a reader, and then of course get a better advertising result. Um, file size, start touching on that earlier. What, what always gets me about the Kindle is, the Kindle was made for the book business. So you can, in a megabyte, download a bunch of text blocks one time only, and it's fine for book reading, but you put a newspaper on that and times it 365 days a year, and, and all of a sudden you bring in this 3G wireless cost that this world was never built for. So again, we're building to fit an economics that was never made for us and, and is problematic. I, I think it's, it's, you know, of course, I love the Apple flip side where they pass the cost to the consumer and all of a sudden file size is not the concern and we can start giving the reader, we can start building for the reader with the toolkit that we use online. They can start getting everything they expect from us online. So I think um, file size is giant and I, so that's the big distinction between the e-reader device companies that pay the file delivery themselves versus a model that what might move it to the customer or a Wi-Fi model like that. So again, these would all be the factors for whoever's starting to come together to do the work on, on these topics or 